So I have a question for people who support universal background checks for guns. This is what I'm trying to figure out. So, so help me out here. I'm assuming that there are several reasons that you want to do this. One, to stop mass shootings. Two, to stop gun crime in general. And, and I think those are both two very worthy goals. What I'm trying to figure out is how universal background checks accomplish this goal. Because we know that the, the vast majority of guns used in mass shootings survived a background check. And so universal background checks not going to stop mass shootings. So we can, we can check that one off the list. So now it's gun crime, I guess. And the idea of universal background checks is that if you buy a gun at a trade show, you have to do a background check and a lot of them do it anyway. And, you know, so that's one way. And I guess the other way is if you sell a gun privately to somebody else, you're supposed to have them fill out a form and pay somebody to do a background check, right? And somehow that's going to stop gun crime. It's not. Because the bad guy, and this is this is where we miss it over and over again, laws are for the law abiding. The bad guy who wants to use the gun for criminal activity, gang activity, whatever, that bad guy is not going to be having the clandestine meeting at the trunk of a car where one bad guy is selling a gun to another bad guy. And he says, hey, but do me a favor could you sign this background check and pay a fee so that we can make sure that this is handled correctly? Because it's not going to happen. And so this is where my confusion comes in. And I'm, kind, I'm trying to be kind here with how I'm saying this. I would like to open up the comments and I would like those of you in favor of universal background checks to tell me what I'm missing here. How is this going to actually achieve the goals that are stated that it will achieve? Help me out. Can't wait to have this discussion with you.